what's up my tamalians hey guys and welcome back to my channel i'm tamale if you're new here and today i'm so excited to announce that i will be relaunching the monroe legacy um, what you're seeing right now is the creator sim for the founder tamika monroe if you've been following me since i started the sims channel then you'd know that this is not my first attempt at making my sim self or even trying the legacy challenge but as someone who really enjoys creating things, I believe it's important to produce things that you can be proud of. So I, I felt like I was getting lost in the sauce and all the excitement. Like I felt like I was getting drawn in by uh, just watching some of my favorite simmers and um, taking uh, inspiration and from them. But um, I think I was losing like my gameplay and the way I like to play. So. I decided to, you know, just relaunch the channel, kind of get a fresh start and, you know, ultimately produce something that I could be proud of. But on top of all of that drama, <laughs> um, on top of all of that, I was also having a lot of technical difficulties, like with my sound and with my actual like video and audio with CC and just different things. And like I said, I think it was just because I jumped into creating videos because I was so excited once I found the Sims community but I don't think I did the work it took to make sure that I have everything in order, that I know how to do certain things, you know, just like the basic things to get this um, channel started. So I think I'm more prepared now. Obviously I'm still learning every day. Every time I play, um, I go in with the anticipation that I'm gonna learn something new, but um, I think that I have at least the basic things down um, so that the viewers can enjoy what they're seeing. I want this to be a genuine, like wholesome, sometimes a little spicy space. And I felt like I was trying to force my channel to grow rather, just, rather than just sit back, have fun and let the channel grow, you know, organically. Playing The Sims has always been so therapeutic for me and I wanna stay true to that while still being accountable for my content, storytelling, challenges, etc. There's joy in putting effort, time and thoughtfulness into creating something you can be proud of. So I placed my previous videos on private and I just basically decided to revamp and reintroduce my channel. I wanted to start my channel off by doing the legacy challenge or the quote unquote legacy challenge um, because I feel like it's the perfect way to introduce myself to the community and my viewers. Um, I think what makes The Sims so interesting is that there's literally so many ways that you can play and show your personality. Um, you can live your reality wherever you're at through The Sims and I think that's so important and I just wanna make sure that I bring all of that to my channel, all of me, you know, all of my uniqueness to the channel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick um, backstory <laughs> on our founder. Um, it's not gonna be anything too much because I don't know legacy challenges to normally have a backstory, but I just wanna go ahead and give you guys like a frame of mind where I was coming from when I created the sim. Um, so it says, Tamika is a neat, creative foodie who recently completed her degree in counseling and education. With all the excitement surrounding her most recent accomplishment, Tamika has finally decided that it's time to move out from the bird's nest and fly on her own. This isn't going to be easy though, because Tamika has some of the most loving, caring, generous per parents in the world. Growing up, she watched as her mom and dad worked hard to provide for their family, and they did everything they could to make sure their childhoods were a happy and a memorable one. Now that Tamika is a young adult, she wants to reflect the same family values and work ethics her folks had when she was growing up. She desires to have a big, happy family, be known as one of the founding families of Newcrest, and generate wealth that can be passed on from generation to generation. So the day after graduation, she packed a bag with a couple shoes and just a couple pieces of clothing. You guys can see it all in this creator sim. Grabbed her piggy bank, which had just a little over $1,800 in it. She kissed her awesome parents goodbye and moved to the new crest, oh wait, and moved to new crest to start the Monroe legacy. Guys, again, I'm so excited about um, getting started and just kind of taking my time and pacing myself with this creator sim. I'm giving myself the ability to be creative and just, I'm ultimately proud of what I produce here um, on YouTube. Uh, if you're here for the journey and you wanna see what's gonna come from this legacy, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video, which will actually be the, epi the first episode of the Monroe Legacy. 
stay tuned to the end of the video though there's gonna be just a little bit of um building by so you guys can kind of see how i started up um what i started with when i moved onto the lot um it's gonna be a voiceover but you'll get to see a little gameplay if you make it to the end if not i will see you in the next episode peace Okay, so really quick, I just wanted you guys to see the outfits that I had for Tamika. So this is one of her everyday outfits. It's really casual, just like me. I'm a very laid back, casual kind of person. Um, and that's the second one. She has like short dreads because I just started my lock journey a couple months ago. There goes her formal, um, very mild. <laughs> there goes her workout. I wanted her to symbolize like where she was in life too financially. So the clothes are not going to be like, you know, super extravagant, but I did want it to show some kind of style and cuteness, you know. So yeah, and there goes her cold weather, um, her hot weather. I love that dress. And yeah, let's get into a little bit of gameplay. Just a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so you see we're at the house, or we're at the lot. Um, this is the 50 by 40 lot in Newcrest, so it's the biggest crest, it's the biggest lot in Newcrest. Um, I know most legacy challenges have to take place in Willow Creek on the 50 by 50 lot, but I decided that I wanted to do mine a little different, so yeah, that's why we're here. 
Um, so I don't know if you've seen, but I did change my money to 1800. I'm deciding to do that kind of start rather than the extreme start with zero dollars. And I'm just trying to make the best out of the money I have. Like you're going to see right now, I'm about to place the tent, which I actually got that as an idea from a different simmer. I didn't even know that like <laughs> I would be able to just place a tent. The last time I did this challenge, I think I placed like a bed and I got electrocuted that night because I didn't have any shelter. <laughs> but yeah so um this time i decided okay i'm gonna go ahead and try to do it with a tent instead hopefully like that'll be okay for the first couple days of me being out there now y'all i'm very big on gardening in the sims i love it it's so therapeutic to me i just love gardening in the sims and i love that you can make money um and you can make like other things from like your garden so you can make food you can make like um floral arrangements just different herbs um i'm not herbals but like herbal treatments and stuff, herbal remedies and things like that so i really love that so um that's why like in any game i play on the sims you're gonna see me doing some kind of gardening but right here you see me putting down like three planters because i was like okay she's gonna be doing that to be getting money but y'all i didn't even realize that um they were two hundred dollars each so this is me just spending the money all willy-nilly <laughs> not even thinking about the repercussions the fact that like they're two hundred dollars each and i only had eighteen hundred to start with so um later on you'll see me delete them but right now i think i'm balling so i think i was looking for the cooler at this point um yeah i think i was looking for the cooler yeah i was looking for the cooler and i got it in slime green <laughs> to match my tent and I placed that right there because, you know, your girl got to eat. Then I wanted to get the guitar, but I was like more than a guitar, which I do actually, or I am learning to play the bass guitar, or I was learning to play the bass guitar in real life. I actually stopped, but um, I decided to do the easel because I was like, I can make money from selling the paintings. So, you know, at the beginning of legacy challenges, it's always kind of like rags to riches. You got to be uh scraping together your little coins <laughs> um obviously you know i'm not gonna have enough money for a toilet so i grabbed a little bush and i think i'm gonna grab a little shower too eventually now listen here's another thing about the legacy challenge i don't know if it's like a part of the rules or not um but like i see a lot of players build their own homes and I think that that's amazing. Like, I wish I had the talent, <laughs> the patience, like the creativity, to, like build homes and decorate. But I've just never really been too good at that myself. I do plan on getting better though. Like I wanna be a well-rounded simmer. So I plan on getting better at that. But for now, <laughs> I'm gonna take that pressure off of me. And like, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have her save her money to buy like her first starter home and we're gonna place it on this lot. So I know in the legacy challenge rules, you're not allowed to leave the lot. We don't plan on leaving the lot. We're just going to um like keep on replacing the houses on the lot, the more money that we save, if that makes sense. So the lot might look a little big for our little house in the beginning, but the idea <laughs> is that eventually we'll save enough money to um, buy the biggest house of our dreams. Kind of like a dream house series, kind of. It's a combination of everything. <laughs> but yeah, so you see, I placed my shower there. Um, I end up getting rid of the planters because as you can see, like I did not have enough money for everything I needed. The planters, I don't need a planter. I was trying to figure out how to spend the rest of my money, so I almost got a knitting kit, but then I said, I think you need a rocking chair, so I didn't. But then I got the flower floral arrangement thing because I was like, oh, I when I when I plant some flowers, I can be making some money by you know, creating vases and selling those. So it's all about creating money in the beginning, and y'all know that. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up right here. Oh, wait, you see me setting the, the lot trace right here, which I chose home studio, I believe. Um, great soil and fast internet. I just fast internet. I think that those are going to be really important in the beginning stages. The home studio for the painting, because, you know, it makes the paintings come out with better quality. The great soil for the planting. It makes the plants of better quality, which means I can reap more money from it and um what was the last one i said oh fast internet because it makes you get your skills up faster and you know the higher your skills the better the quality of things you're producing the more money you you reap so you know it's all connected here we're thinking about it 
in totality <laughs> anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video for real this time like i said don't forget to like comment subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video peace